Hey Libra, we're going to do your nighttime spread tonight, messages from your ancestors. And so this is going to be for St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, 2022. I'm going to be talking in a low voice today because I'm actually filming this at night and I'm going to be posting it as an evening reading. So welcome on in Libras. Um, I hope you feel comfy. Go grab a drink, grab a snack. We're going to sit down and talk for your evening read messages from your ancestors once again. What do the ancestors want to tell Libra today, Spirit? What cards are going to show for the ancestors of a Libra? I got this uh, spiritual sense today that Librans are going to be guided by their ancestors um, in a way where in the 5D you experience it on a transcendental level. Um, there's a lot of cognitive energies going on in the collective right now. Everybody's sort of spreading like their spiritual powers and using them for overall good. And so you'll be seeing that a lot in the collective too, especially with other signs, friends of yours, family members, you're going to see that there's like a deeper understanding um, and a lot of compassion as well in the coming days for Libra, messages from their ancestors. Let's go with the bottom of the deck. Transportation. That's a beautiful card. Um, as you can see, a beautiful long train. This reminds me of the train in Harry Potter because I'm like a huge Potter fan. Transportation could be travel. I'm getting the word exposing yourself to valleys unknown. Maybe there's a place you haven't treaded to. Not only travel, but I also get like walking, hiking, explore, uh, things that you just probably normally don't do on a daily basis. But Libra, this tells me that there's a transformation in your transportation. And so maybe you want to look deeper into the things you're vibing with lately as far as travel. Okay. And obviously an ancestor is recommending that you move and take action towards those goals. Messages for Libra from their ancestors. Messages for Libra. And I wasn't pinched on St. Patty's Day today. There's a lot of opportunity to be pinched, but no pinching. <laughs> Messages for Libra for that, from their ancestors, please. Messages for Libra top of the deck. Vows. Uh, this rings a personal kind of thing to me right now with vows. I think that in any form, it doesn't have to be marriage or a contract. I think vows just from people in general, like even in your family or your friend group, you want to see that people hold their word to you and you back to them. This great exchange that is always going on in life, but I feel like maybe some of you need to re-question those vows that you hold to people. And maybe these have been in question for a long time. I also am getting channeled Libra that these vows don't have as much importance to you. I don't know why I'm getting that, but maybe you are not seeking them out anymore. All right? Or maybe you're reestablishing what they mean to you. Message from ancestors. Next card out the gate for Libra. That one seems to be peeking out the most. Egypt. That is so strange because this is the um, this is the Egyptian oracle deck, and um, I was reading the story of Isis the other day, just to share with you, Libra. And Egypt was a very very advanced culture, as a lot of you know. There could be some significance in your life. You could be Egyptian yourself. You could have um, beliefs rooted in Egypt that you find fascinating or you learn from every now and then. Um, the pyramids too, and just a quick like, quick fun fact of pyramids. Um, there's three points, correct? So they say that unity has this clear definition between pyramids, you know, so let's say you're a couple, that's you at the top, your boyfriend or your spouse, and then the third one would be your child. So it's like this interconnectivity 
that is kind of like the circle of life, but it creates balance. And so the, the great Egyptians believed that not only its ge geometric shape was very telling in life, but it's also circumstantial also to solving problems. And uh, maybe this could have some significance or an ancestor had a bond with you, um, somehow dealing with Egypt, or maybe you just hold it significant in your life. Let's get three more, ooh, three more for Libra messages from their ancestors. Messages from their ancestors, spirit. Messages from their ancestors. Let's go with top of the deck. Trees. Uh, the tree of life could be significant to you tonight or today. Um, trees are kind of this overall symbol in life for knowledge or truth. Trees have an ability to survive for long periods of time as well. Like the great redwoods and the sequoias, um, they live until they're like 120 years old, 110. So maybe if you study a little bit more of this meaning spiritually, um, it could help you on this journey that you're going through Libra because all of us are going through a little bit of a rough one lately. And um, I think trees could have some sort of impact on your soul as well. Next card. Medicine, man or woman. Um, just for me personally, like I, I have this condition called ul ulcerative colitis. What it does is it inflames your stomach. Lately, I've been going on these really long hikes where I just sort of um, kind of mellow out and listen to music that I like. And so I think you could be your own medicine woman or man. These were very, very um, beautiful people in the Native American culture that would cultivate healing. And I think you could be your own healer or you could start healing others by spreading the word on what you know and sharing your deeper spiritual knowledge because it's also special when you share it. A lot of people don't know this higher level stuff and the mastery of spirituality. So if you could share that, um, maybe you could be that medicine man or woman for somebody else who truly needs it. You know, if you really think about it, people need healing now more than ever after COVID-19 and after all of these strifes that we've gone on, especially since we're going into a war, possible war. So you might want to be a healer amongst healers. Next card from the ancestors of Libra. What do the angels and ancestors want to say? Let's close out this reading on a beautiful note for tonight. Messages from the ancestors for Libra. That was beautiful. We'll take the, the one on the top. Lessons and blessings. I think this is a perfect card to end off on tonight. Um, what do I want to say about this? You may have been blessed in the past, Libra, with a lot of good tides and good strides. But I think for the most part lately, it's been more like a lackluster season. <laughs> I don't like to laugh about that. and It's true, though. Um, I also think that the lessons are coming in. So everything you've been cultivating the last couple months, um, it's finally coming to you. There's there's a time clock though, and I find that interesting how the clock is so in your face, right? Time is of the essence to express the blessings so that you could get them, right? A lot of Librans, there's a lot of tactful planning, there's a lot of perfectionism, um, and sometimes we don't release it on time. So that is the message today, and happy St. Patrick's Day, you guys. Um, also. I think tomorrow will kind of be a break day. Um, I'm planning on doing the readings with a little bit more crystals and gemstones and a um, little bit more decor. So I'll be back probably Friday with an early morning inspo and then um, we'll be good to go. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Take care of yourselves. Always eat well. And what did I want to say? Make that light work. <laughs>